Hi, I'm Teresa Coates. I'm the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics. Shannon Fabrics is well known for being a maker of Cuddle Minky, and we work really hard to make the best Minky out there. Today we're going to work on a project. We're going to make this cute little pencil pillow. I'm going to show you how to work with Cuddle, all the tips and tricks that we have to make it an easy, easy fabric to work with. So the first thing you need to do is download the pattern. It's a free pattern and you just have to fill out the form below. You'll be able to download the pattern and follow along with me. Once you have the pattern downloaded, you're going to want a few other tools to make this a successful project. You're going to need long flower head pins, micro serrated scissors, you want to have a 9014 stretch needle, and polyester thread. I also use a rotary cutter. So the first thing I've done is I've cut out all of the pieces that I've needed except for one piece so I can show you how to cut it out. I have pieces of yellow, beige, light gray, a dark gray, and the pink. This is a six by six square and I'm just gonna trace this pattern onto the back of it. I'm just using a big felt tip pen and I'm just gonna trace all the way around this guy and then I'm gonna transfer my markings too because I wanna make sure I have these later. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. So I've got micro serrated scissors here that I'm going to use that will help grab the fabric a lot nicer. Okay, so once I've got this cut out, I'm going to get rid of my little bit of cuddle dust. I'm going to get rid of my scraps and the extra that's on the edge here, which we'll is kind of pull off, can also give it a good little shake. So now once I've got all of my pieces cut out, I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to start with the tip of it. So I'm going to start with the graphite tip and then the wood piece, which are these two pieces here. I want to sew these two curves together. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the center. I'm just going to put a pin in each one of those and I'm going to pin them together. One of the keys with working with Minky Fabrics is that it likes to move. So the first thing I do is I pin the ends and the middle and then I'm going to pin in between. Okay, so once I've gotten it all pinned together, I'm going to take it over the sewing machine and sew this with a quarter inch seam allowance. So now I've got my tip ready to go. So I'm just going to put that aside and then I'm going to work on the body of the pencil. I have a yellow strip, a gray strip, and a pink strip that I'm gonna to put together. I wanna to make sure that the nap of all of those is going in the right direction, so I'm gonna kinda of pet the fabric as I go. I know that the tip of my pencil runs top to bottom this direction, so the next piece is gonna be my yellow, and I want it to run that direction. So I will just pet the fabric, make sure it's going the right way. If I pet it down, I can see it becomes smooth. If I pet it up, it gets a darker yellow color, so I want it to go this direction. And then I'm gonna sew my gray band on to that. Once I have the yellow in the right position, I want to put the gray strip onto it. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to figure out which way the nap is going. So if I pet these two together, the nap is going the same direction for both of those. So I'm going to put them next to each other and then flip them right sides together and pin. Pinning with Cuddle is a little different because Cuddle likes to move. So as I said, I pin the end and I'll pin the center and then I pin in between. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin parallel here to my raw edge, which is different than traditional sewing. So once I get the first row pinned, I'm actually gonna pin a second row of pins. And this will help keep my fabric nice and flat as it's going through the machine. And I'm gonna sew this. So I've got my gray band sewn on. Sewn on. I leave these pins in while I'm sewing and now I'm gonna take them out. So I've got that and now I need to put my pink strip on. I want the pink strip to go in the same direction. My nap is running this way now. So I'm gonna check my pink strip, make sure that it's doing the same thing, and I'm gonna pin it as well. All right, so now I've got this pinned together and I'm gonna sew it. Once I have the whole body of the pencil, I'm gonna sew the wooden tip on. So I'm gonna go back and grab the piece that I sewed together before, and I'm gonna find the center of those. So both the wooden tip and the pencil body. Because this is a curve, I'm gonna need to um, kind of ease it in a little bit as I'm going. So I'm going to pin a little bit differently this time than I did on the other straight seams. So when I'm pinning these curves, if I put the pins on opposite sides as I go through the parts that need a lot more easing, it will help it sew flatter. Okay, now I'm going to go sew it again. So now the entire body is sewn together. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this in half and create the tube of the pencil. So what I want to do is make sure that my seams are matching. I'm going to pin carefully there. And again, I'm going to pin parallel here so that this will stay nice and flat while I'm sewing. In the body of my pillow, I want to make sure that I leave a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that with a pen to where I want to leave that gap. I need to leave it about three inches or so. So I'm just going to mark it with a pen so I don't forget. 
and now we're gonna sew it. So now I've got the whole side seam sewn together. I've left my little gap, and now I'm gonna sew on the eraser end. So on here, I need to find my center and my quarter marks, and I'm just gonna mark those with a pin. Then I'm gonna fold it this direction to find my quarters this way. You can mark this with a pen or you can stick a pen in the fold. So now once I have my quarters on here that are marked with the pins and I have them on here where I traced them from or transferred them from the pattern, now I'm gonna put them together. I'll match the quarter marks and then ease in between. And again, I'll pin from the front and also from the back to try to get that to lay nice and flat where I'm sewing the curves together. Once we have this all pinned together, then I'm gonna sew the circle on. I'm actually gonna sew it from this direction and follow the curve. Okay, now I've got the whole thing sewn together. I have my eraser end on and I have left a gap. So we'll just turn that inside out. So then once I have the tube completely made, I'm gonna take my little gap and I'm gonna fill it full of my favorite polyfill. I will fully stuff it so that it is as firm as you want it to be. So you can stuff it very tight so that it's sort of uh, a firm pillow, or you can use a lighter polyfill that will actually make it a little bit softer. Once it's full to the firmness that you want, that we're gonna go ahead and just hand stitch it closed. So I'm gonna use a hand stitching needle and some more of my polyester thread, and I'm just going to do a little ladder stitch to close it up. So now we have a cute little pencil. So I hope that you have learned a lot about working with Cuddle Minky fabrics and you're no longer afraid. You can find lots of our patterns and tutorials online. We'd also love to have you in one of our classes, both online and in store. You can find us at shannonfabrics.com. Thank you very much for being here and happy sewing.